welcome back. Today I'll be showing you our puppy area. I'll be talking about his crate, feeding, potty training, and more. So if you want to see how we take care of Bear while living in a high-rise apartment, then this video is free. Let's get started. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of how you can set up your puppy area. As you can see, we have his playpen attached to the crate. He has a little door here that we can lock on the outside or keep open. I personally prefer to have this. I think it gives our puppy more freedom and lets him know that uh, this is his little area and that when we're supervising him, he can come and go as he pleases. Now this is actually two play pens put together. We originally bought the metal play pen, but we felt it was too big. I also didn't like that it didn't have a separate door. A lot of the play pens have doors that attach to the crate opening, but don't actually have a separate door if we want to let him in and out of the play pen. So we ordered another one and then we pretty much tied them together just using some hair ties. As you can see, we are mainly using the metal play pen and then one part of the plastic play pen as you can see here, just so we could get that door. Obviously you don't have to do this, you can lift your puppy in and out of his pen or if you're not ready to have your puppy explore your home fully, you don't need an extra door. We just like having the option. These are his food and water bowls. Now these are from Ikea and if you watched my last video, you know how much I love Ikea. These are great. I love the look and size, but the only thing is these are not spill proof. We've already had a few spills with his water. In the future, we do want to find bowls that won't topple over. So that's the only thing uh, we don't really like about these. We also plan on getting a little mat, like a place mat as well just in case for any cleanup. But yeah, they look nice. I love the material, but I would honestly prefer the spill-proof bowls. This here is his crate sleeping area. So it has a door here that you can close. Crate training is essential for us. We wanna be able to have the option of him staying in his locked crate for at least a couple of hours. That way if we want to go out for dinner or run errands, it's just really important to us. This is also where he sleeps at night. He sleeps in here, we close it and lock it, and then we wake up every four hours just to let him go out if he needs to pee or poop. And then he goes right back into sleep. He doesn't cry anymore. The first few days he did cry, but now we do have the routine down and he knows that this is where he sleeps at night. This is his bed. We got this from our local pet store, Pet Value, right down the street from us. It fits well in the crate. The only thing is he does have to step a bit higher to get into it. When he's older, we'd love for him to use this bed without the crate and know that this is just where he sleeps. It's super soft and plush and just feels really cozy. I keep a blanket, some toys, and the crate as well. I will also put a shirt of mine and my fiance's just so we can have our scents at night. I think it really helps calm him down and yeah, he loves his little bed. I'll always keep a bag of treats nearby if he's being good and I try to give him a generous amount of small treats when he's in his crate just so that he can continue to have a positive association with being inside his crate. These are some of his current toys. I don't like to keep all his toys in the playpen just in case, you know, he pees on them or something. Over here is his pee pad. I tried to kind of keep it as far away from the, his crate as possible. You just don't want your puppy peeing too close to the crate. Bear isn't fully potty trained. He still pees in some random spots in our apartment. He is three months now, but that is totally okay. It may take a long time for your pup to be fully potty trained, even up to a year, so have some patience. So yeah, these are the Amazon Basics pee pads. I get them shipped quickly with Amazon Prime and there is 100 in the box. They are amazingly absorbent and they work 100%. The only thing is I wouldn't leave your puppy unsupervised around them. Bear is going through a phase where if we're not looking, he will try to shred these pee pads and actually try to eat them. So yeah, not the best. Just make sure to keep an eye on your puppy. They are not, you know, shred proof or anything. So other than that, they are great. So just a little bit about our routine. Bear eats three times a day, just the recommended amount on the packaging. We will put his food in the crate so he can have a positive association with it. And then once he's done, we take him out to go potty immediately. Here we 
have the pooch patch. This is 100% real grass. It's based here in Ontario, Canada. We just keep it out on our balcony. These are great if you also live in an apartment or high rise building. Bear loves to use it. He knows that this is mainly where he's supposed to go potty. In addition to using the pee pads, he will go to the door and sit and wait for us to open it if he has to go potty. I think he really prefers to go in real grass. We are on the 22nd floor so it takes us a while to go downstairs and outside to have him go potty. So this is just perfect for us. As you can see here right now he's trying to find a good spot to go potty. Usually I'll encourage him by saying go potty and then he knows right away that that is what we want him to do. So yeah, this is amazing, definitely a lifesaver and probably one of the best pet products I've ever bought. So this concludes my puppy area video. I hope this gave you an idea of how you can set up your puppy area. Getting a puppy is a lot of work and I just want to give you guys an idea of how you can really prepare. We do have some more videos coming up. We'll be doing some reviews on Pup Box and other products so if you'd like to see that you can subscribe below. Let us know what you'd like to see in the comments and if you have any questions about our crate area. Thanks for watching and Bear and I hope to see you guys next time.